Making it interesting all the way down to the end. How about this? The Cardinal Yearbook, new and improved, updated, hot off the presses. Steve Zesh joins us, St. Louis Cardinals Director of Publications. Steve, welcome back to the show. Thanks, McGraw. Good morning. Uh, so the, the, explain this to me because I know you explained it before, but I'm not very smart. Um, this yearbook that I'm holding in my hand, this is the new addition for the 2018 season, right? Yeah, correct. The yearbook's been around, uh, gosh, for 50, 50 years, and it's you know it's not unlike our high school yearbooks where it's the pictures of everybody who was there, all the photography. But we take uh, the opportunity each year to take a deep dive into a topic that we know is really going to connect with Cardinal fans. And, of course, this is the 50th anniversary of the year of the pitcher, and the guy who stole the spotlight in the year of the pitcher was, of course, Bob Gibson. Yeah. Uh, so now, is, is this is if I would have bought the yearbook earlier in the year, is this the same one, or does it have some of the new players in it from from throughout the season? Well, we did uh, we did go back on after the managerial change, and uh, so uh, Mike Schilt is featured in this uh, second edition. So, hey, for collectors out there, make sure you get them both. Uh, but uh, of course, you know the roster's been uh, we've seen a lot of changes and. Right. Uh, I think we uh, we'd have to go on press last week to catch everybody. Right? No, no, no. I I, I hear you. Your books have been. I remember as a kid, I, you just devoured these things. Your books have been around for fifty years. Yeah, yeah. It's uh, one of the traditional pieces for fans, and uh, you know, as I said, we've tried to modernize ours, and we it's the yearbook plus we like to think uh, a book that's paired with it. So it's. It's kind of an upscale piece now, like almost like a, a, a coffee table quality uh, edition. Yeah, uh, where do we get it? How do we get it? Well, you can uh, you know call the Cardinals three four five nine thousand. Go online at cardinals dot com slash yearbook. But it's also around town at at area grocers. Uh, at QT stores, Walgreens, so you can find it at retail outlets as well. You know, looking back at that 1968 season, the year Bob Gibson had the 1.12, it wasn't just him, right? I mean, it really was the year of the pitcher. Oh, yeah. And, you know, you had guys like the Giants, Juan Marichal. He won 26 games uh, uh, through 30 complete games uh, and doesn't win the Cy Young Award. Right, <laughs> so, right. Uh, uh, because Denny McClain yeah. had 31 games. Well, yeah, Denny McLean over in the America League. You know, he went to Cy Young Award with 31 victories. Hey, and you had five pitchers in the AL with ERAs under 2.00. I mean, it's 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 hard to wrap your head around the achievements that were that were marked that year, and that's the reason we did this. To you know, there's a new appreciation I think you're going to have for Gibson and baseball when you look at that year because it was singular yeah and uh he pitched it was so he pitched so well they raised the mound after that season they changed the rules because of that season well yeah they they you know they they lowered the mound uh and and gibson lowered the mound. uh yeah he he said you know i don't i don't think it's really gonna phase me and uh really it didn't uh too much because he had an outstanding year in 69 so no matter how much you mess with it, you're not going to get the better of Bob Gibson. Uh, I also I knew this, but I have since forgotten this. Talking about the 1968 season, which is all recapped in the St. Louis Cardinals yearbook, it's always a whole lot of fun to go back and look at that that year. Um, do we know? And I don't mean to put you on the spot, Steve, but but I will. Um, do we know how many earned runs Gibson gave up versus how many RBIs he had that season? Well, you know, that's uh, that's kind of a number I guess we could pull up, and it sort of reflects the passion of the day of just crunching numbers. But to Gibson, the only number that mattered was wins. It wasn't <laughs> ERA. He, he wasn't worried about a record. When they asked him when he was bearing down the record, hey, what's this going to mean to you? And he says, I'm not worried about any ERA. I wish I could have won 25 games because that's how pitchers were paid back then on wins. <laughs> yeah. Now now the Cy Young Award winner might have a losing record when it comes to wins this year to see how life has changed 50 years later. Oh, yeah. It's, it's 
different era. And uh, But, hey, look back, the guys who won 20 games, would you look at them and say any of those guys were lucky? Yeah, no. no well, the, also because they all pitched nine innings, right? They, they didn't pitch five innings. It was a whole different world. And um, you, you had one guy come out of the bullpen and pitch three innings for the save. So it was a whole... It was a whole different world. Um, it's a look down memory lane. It's called Gibby's Glory, the 1968 and the Year of the Pitcher. It's a St. Louis Cardinals yearbook updated for some of the new players and coaches that have uh, come away. One more time, Steve, uh, Steve, what's the best way to get a copy of this? Well, uh, give, us, give us a call at 314-345-9000 or go online to cardinals.com slash yearbook. Uh, that's your best bet. Yeah, no, that's a whole lot of great pictures. Great pictures and a whole lot of look at that 1968 season. Uh, Steve, have a good week. Thanks for checking in. Well, thanks for having me, McGraw. You guys.